Hey guys, Lucy here coming at you with another video. I wanted to go over one of my very favorite things, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Recently, I had a Rocky Horror Picture Show party at my house and I got all of these lovely props for my prop bag for the party. And I put it all in this little Halloween bag and my friends absolutely loved it. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Now I got this prop list online. If you just Google image search um, Rocky Horror Picture Show props, this little list will come up. It has these little lips on it. Um, this was actually the best prop list I could find online, so I went with this one. I did modify it um, a little bit. There are certain things I um, kind of were like, eh, I'm not sure I want to do that. Um, the great thing also about the DVD that I have of the Rocky Horror Picture Show is there's an option in the special features where you can um, select for the video to prompt you when to use the props. So I turned on the audience prompting feature and it actually told us when to use the props, which was really helpful. Um, I, I had a, another Rocky Horror Picture Show party last year and I didn't actually realize I had that feature. So that, if your DVD has that feature, it's really cool. So anyway, I got this off of here um, and it, you know, it kind of gives you the script, um, you know, you hear Janet's name, you say this word, this is a family friendly channel, so I won't say it out loud. And if you hear the name Brad, you say this word. So the first thing on the list is the newspaper. And guys, I got all this stuff from the dollar store. You do not have to spend a lot of money on these props. So you need a newspaper. And that's for in the beginning when Brad and Janet are caught in the storm. You can also get squirt guns. It's a little bit difficult to find squirt guns this time of year. I think maybe this summer I will look in the dollar stores for squirt guns and get a head start on that. But so you use a new newspaper and the squirt guns for that. So that would be like the first thing you put in your prop bag here. Okay, and then the next thing is they say use a candle or a flashlight. I actually didn't use that. I used a glow stick. The glow stick is great. People love it. Um, and that's when they're singing There's a Light uh, at the beginning of the movie. And so everybody just cracks these open. You know, they, you know, they crack it and it lights up. This one's already been used, so it's not going to light up. And then they sing There's the Light. There's a Light. Excuse me. And so the glow stick is great for that part. Um, then the next prop is the pink rubber gloves. I actually got these off of Amazon. I think they are like breast cancer awareness gloves. Um, the only thing I can say about these gloves is they didn't really pop very easily. They don't pop, um, but <laughs> cause you're supposed to pop them during um, Frank's speech, you know, and where he has the pink gloves on his hand, you're supposed to pop them. Well, these don't pop, but we had fun pretending like they popped. I liked them because they were pink. Um, the next thing is the noise maker, and that's at the end of the creation speech. There's applause, there's noise maker. I actually found out these don't make noise. I thought they did, but when you blow on them, they just go out. So we just made our own noise and we applauded. Um, so like any kind of noise maker, those, you know, those ones with the wands where you do like this and they make noise as they go around. I could not find any of those at the dollar store, so we just used these. So those were fun. Um, confetti, you can definitely find confetti at the dollar store. My friends were so nice, they would not throw confetti on my carpet, so they just threw it in the bag. They just kept it in the bag and just threw it like that, which was sweet. I told them they didn't have to, but they kept my floors clean. I'm grateful for that, so there's confetti. Okay, and then there's toilet paper when Dr. Scott enters the lab and Brad cries out, great Scott. Um, so you just, you know, that's pretty easy to come by. You can get toilet paper at the dollar store too, believe it or not, so. Toilet paper, and then toast when he says, when Frank says, let's propose a toast. I just do a cracker on this one. And again, my friends just threw it in, they kept it in the bag, they're so nice. They didn't wanna get my floor dirty. Then, um, party hat, when Frank puts on a party hat at dinner. I found these 
dollar, these dollar store hats, I'm sorry, I got them at Dollar Tree, I mean, these were really fun because they kind of remind me of Columbia's hat. Everyone really liked these little like sparkly ones. If you find like little sparkly top hats, those are awesome for Rocky Horror Picture. Okay, then a bell during the um, Planet Shmanet Janet, ring the bell when Frank sings, did you ring, did you hear bell ring? I think that's what he, I'm tripping over my words. But anyway, so you have a bell for that part. And the great thing is like the DVD will tell you, okay, ring the bell now. So bell, and then on the last part, and you know what, my friends like this part most of all. You have cards for the part, um, I'm going home, when Frank sings Cards of Sorrow, Cards of Pain. Um, <clears throat> the, a funny story on the cards is I could not find like regular playing cards at the dollar store, but I found these match game. My guests were like super excited to see what they got. Like they're like, oh, I got an alligator. I got a bumblebee. I got a butterfly. So it was like, actually this was like way cuter than using like, oh, you know, you got the two of clubs or whatever. So this was really cute. And so when he sang that part of it, we all, th we threw the cards and they just went everywhere. It was so fun. And then the last thing on the list, which is optional, I don't do this, but um, hot dogs and prunes. And it says, throw the hot dogs and prunes at the appropriate mention in the film. Um, I didn't see any part on the DVD where it actually prompted us to do that. Um, I've never done that. Uh, but what, what my, some of my friends suggested maybe we just do like Slim Jims because you just, you can keep them in the package and just throw it in the package. It's like a really clean, like don't get your carpet dirty kind of a thing. So, um, that's it. That's how you do a Rocky Horror Picture Show prop bag, like whether you're going to the show or hosting your own show. I hope this video brought you value. If it did, please give it a like, a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. I so appreciate it. Y'all have a good one. Bye.